The Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology's CLIP program aims to invest in the next generation of entrepreneurs and innovators. The CIMH doesn't only provide them with the tools and skill development to create ideas and strategies to combat the impact of climate change, but also gives the opportunity to explore diverse disciplines. Professional development and employment in the areas of science, technology and business are fostered with a focus on building capacities and knowledge for future contributions to the climate resilience effort in the region. With the business analysis course, I got exposure to business modeling and then the entrepreneurship essentials course. It opened my mind to how businesses work. That course really gave me the tools and showed me that anybody can be an entrepreneur. Before my internship at the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ECO, I held a rather traditional view of agriculture, thinking of it mainly as digging the ground, growing crops and rearing animals. However, my time at ECO shattered that narrow perception and opened my eyes to the vast potential and interdisciplinary nature of agriculture. I would have created my business, which is some day venture, being a part of the clip and then being able to get the necessary know-how from the different courses done would have definitely given me the motivation to continue with the business and now to also write up a a grant proposal as it is to get in financing to get the business off the ground. With the help of CIMH, they can learn from an array of established institutions and forge collaborative efforts with like-minded individuals and organizations towards achieving their goals. The one that I really enjoyed the most was the work that I did at Trevor University. They are able to collect and learn with other tech startup founders um, as to how to expand their businesses. And the connections I made there were truly invaluable. The first project I was involved in was a collaborative project, including ECA, obviously, and the FAO, which is the Food and Agricultural Organization. My role within the project was the data collection. I would have went to various fish markets around the island, Oysters, Town, Corset Bay, etc. And I would have handed out these surveys. I had some really interesting conversations with a lot of the fisher folk, you know, fishermen, fish vendors, fish processors included. I have had the opportunity to work in a diverse, multicultural environment where I was able to collaborate with colleagues from various backgrounds. This experience has honed my communication and teamwork skills, fostering a deeper appreciation for cross-cultural understanding. So this is what the road ahead looks like for me. I have acquired a one-year mentorship program through COESL. Currently, my business is in the startup phase, and I am looking at possible universities that I would like to attend. This experience definitely opened my eyes so I know that there are multiple things that I am pursuing. So the first is the startup for software development. I'm currently working on a project that I am going to pitch to the tourism board in St. Lucia. Hopefully it kickstarts this product that I am creating. We plan on becoming an environmental consultant and a project manager because I do believe this is the best way possible for me to provide valuable contributions to the climate resilience sector. So far, we have accomplished a lot, but we can always do more. So there's a need for support from like-minded partners, and together we can contribute to the climate resilience and prosperity of the region. <laughs>